Um, my name is Brad. I'm at a pizzeria that I own. Sitting here with you. What, what can you tell us about this uh, strength cover? About this strength cover, this was at Embarcadero. Oh. And that was just a night where Gabe Morford, myself, and I believe Brian Anderson were just skating, um, skating around downtown, and then we just ended up being kind of right around there, and they were doing a lot of new construction, and um, and we found the barrier, and and then I put it through, uh, put it down the stairs, uh -huh. and uh, then I ripped it. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, I tore the shit out of it. Um, that was really easy to do. Um, and then we just moved on. I had no clue it was going to be a cover. Um, I didn't really care at the time about asking like what the photo was going to be for. Sure. It was just uh, hit the next spot, jump in the van, hit the next spot, jump back in the van, hit the next spot. So, yeah. so that was this one. This was a Barcadero. This was in uh, September 27th. What, when was this? What? That's what probably, year? Well, they, these... They don't have years on them? No, they were just issued numbers initially until this one, then this jumps to 2002. Yeah, so this one, I don't know when the fuck that one was, you know? Yeah. And then this one also gave more for a photo. Really awesome, really fun spot. We used to skate there all the time. Yeah, you, we'd see that spot in videos all the time. Um, so this was in San Francisco as well. We just ended up there almost all the time, just, you know, whether we uh, were skating it or not, or meeting somebody, it was just go there and Right He's here, dude. right here, you have Frank Gerwer. So he was my uh, my uh, stabilizer for this for the beam. Yeah. And at that time, this like again, this was like 2002. Yeah. Um, I was riding for Enjoy. Oh. And um, and also again, I had no clue that this was going to be on the cover, nor did I care where that photo was going. Yeah. Um, this one was in um, Stanford. And this is uh, my friend Joe Brook. He shot this one. Okay. Um, we went there. Um, I wanted a 180 nose grind it. Maybe, uh, maybe took three or four tries or something. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, it's one of those things where you know, I, I was blessed to land stuff kind of quick once in a while, you know? Just so happened, all of these besides this one, I landed really fast. Sweet. And then this one was just strange, like everything about the whole thing. So this was, uh, when the fuck was this shit? 2006. Okay, 2006. Where is that? This is Brad Stable backside flip. This was this was in San Francisco and this was shot by Brian Gaberman. Okay. And um and it was me Brian Gaberman, Brian Anderson, and myself. And we just kinda were lurking around, Brian and I one day and I just kinda found this uh, really shitty run up. Um kind of just throw your board down and Huck over this thing, and uh, uh, we got kicked out a couple times during it, which why, which is why it was just kind of a, a bit of a jamma. Um, and then, uh, yeah, as far as it being on a cover, I knew that it was going to be on a cover. And like I didn't get surprised, you know. And whose magazine was this? This is one. This is Mesa. Uh, this is skateboarder. Oh, whose magazine? Oh. You got that from Corey Duffel. <laughs> he was one of our early donors that gave us a load of magazines. Yeah. He's got a lot of, he's a, he's a, you call him a donor. Some other people might call him a hoarder. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe. But he is awesome and a great friend of mine. Um, but yeah, that's cool that you got that from him. This is really fun. I was stoked on this. Um, uh, I was stoked on the photo incentive check from Nike as well. That was a nice uh, one. Yeah, good, good. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I, yeah, I don't know. I never, I never really went out and skated and was like, let's go and shoot a cover, you know? Yeah, just like, happens. I mean, it just happens. Like, this one, 
I just knew that it was going to be on the cover before it came out. The other ones I didn't know that they were going to be on the cover. But this one was like, I just heard that it might land on the cover or something. Yeah. Besides that, I think the only time that, you know, the only time I've ever wanted a cover, uh, I just never went and did the trick. <laughs> So I guess there's still time. Yeah, yeah. You know, the talent just doesn't just go away like that, you know? <laughs> um, so I think we're gonna have to insert like a Thrasher one next to, next yeah. Yeah, right, right there. Here, right here. So we'll redo this interview and then I'll explain how many years I've procrastinated on that one. Brad, if you if I were to say, what iconic covers come to mind when, you know, magazine covers that influenced you over the years or just, or embedded in your mind, what can you think of? Um, I, I really, you know, back to Thrasher, like, that's the tough one because there's just so many, but I really like this Mark Gonzalez cover when he was uh, grinding up that hole. You know which one I'm talking the about? The street sign, yeah. Yeah, the street 97. sign where he's just 50 50 up that thing. I know it's not like a super old cover or whatnot, but he just looks so good. Everything about that looks so good. The Gave photo and just the lighting and just it just worked. It like just looks so magical. And any in every Cardiel cover, um, every single one. Yeah. Um, there's been there's been a few. Quite yeah, a few. there's been a, there's been a decent amount of those, which makes complete sense.